hello guys i hope you are having an amazing day today and welcome back to my channel so today's video is another great clean with me as always it is full of cleaning motivation and if you are here for the first time hello my name is naima altador i am a proud mother of three amazing boys ages now four two and my little baby who is six months old and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing i would love to have you and if you already subscribed to my channel thank you so much for coming back for another cleaning motivational video this is a great satisfying cleaning video guys and it definitely will get you motivated to get things done. So prior to me recording, I did do a few loads of laundry early in the afternoon just to get a head start. And that was before the kids went to bed and of course they had a blast. So with it, as you can see, the clothes are all over the floor. We ended up turning it into a game so I had the kids in the basket, all three of them. The oldest was holding his baby brother pushing them while they were in the basket and they kept saying again mommy again which was so cute because even the little one was just laughing his butt off so with that the clothes being on the floor was the least of my worries because my children was having a blast so now they are off to bed it is time to clean this up I am still using the bone em off method to gather all the toys together to pick them up and organize them. I've been doing this since I was pregnant. It was just so much easier for me with my big old belly. Although I'm not pregnant anymore, it was a great idea, so I just continued to use this method. If you have one of these bone em offs, you could tell that mine's is a bit shorter than the average. It's because it had broke. It actually happened when I was filming one of the videos while I was pregnant. Since it had broken into two, I thought I had to throw it away. But of course, Mr. Fix It All went ahead and fixed it. And yes, it's a little shorter but it still works however it is a bit annoying sometimes because based on the length of it I have to bend down a little bit more my back is fine but over time it can be a problem if I keep doing the same thing over and over year after year using that same bone mop so I don't want that to be an issue so at some point I may have to get a regular size bone mop but until then this is what I'm using This video has been the biggest challenge to film. It was supposed to be a nighttime clean with me, but I did not finish until the next day. My little one who's six months is teething. And if you're a mom watching, then you definitely know how that can go. So he has been super fussy and all he wants is to be held. He does not want me to put him down whatsoever. He just want me to just hold him. I honestly guys felt super guilty cleaning the house because all I wanted to do was just comfort him. I was so close to throwing in the towel and just leaving the house as is. But I was also so determined to clean it as well. So I I definitely battled of not knowing what to do. I want to be with my child, then again I want to go ahead and get this done. My son is so ready for school, he will grab his backpack, put toys in it. He will put it on and and be like, okay, I'm ready for school. So cute, right? <laughs> Cause I want you to show me what you feel. You're watching me like you want me, but you're still holding back, still holding back. Honestly, you're annoying me with the way that you keep playing. Show me your love like it is, like it is. And open my heart like you feel. Okay, so this video was actually filmed prior to going to my mom's house and I wanted to go ahead and get the house nice and clean because I wanted to come back to a clean house. Nothing feels so good coming back home to a clean house instead of having to worry about having to clean all this. I was like, you know what? I'm going to clean it before I leave because 
I want to walk into a clean house. Show me your love like it is, like it is. And open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love and leave me breathless, breathless. This has to be like my fifth load. I did have a quite a bit to do, so I wanted to get an early start. I did not film every single load because earlier I was a bit busy and I had to just get everything done from, from taking care of the kids, getting dinner ready. So filming that part was not on top of my list. But after the kids went to sleep, I did have a few more loads to do, so I went ahead and did those as well. So this basket is going to be my last load for the day. I'm just putting it off to the side for now and moving on to the table, clearing that off. Ever since I started using this table as my workstation, it has been piling up, just setting things there, like, oh, I'll get to it later. And next thing you know, the table is full of stuff. So I definitely have to get better at not setting things on the table so that way it doesn't get piled up. It is 7.03 and, and the sun is coming up. It's still dark outside, but the sun is coming up. Thank you so much guys for taking the time out to watch my last video cleaning my mom's house you guys are just the sweetest i am so happy that the video got a positive feedback and more happy that i got the chance to do this for my mom because i wanted her to just sit back and relax and let me take care of it so i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching that video and the other day i was talking to my mom and telling her about the comments that i was reading she said to say hello to everybody and thank you for subscribing to my daughter's channel. Keep on hoping somehow we can make this all right. Just keep on trying. Class after class, I keep hoping you'll come around. Drown in our fights and what, whatever can be found. Cause I've given in to all my demons lately. You know. My I'm one of those people when I have my family over, I like to play games, whether it's card games, Uno, which is also a card game, Monopoly, question games, just anything that is fun. You're never too old to have some fun. So I'm just fixing the Monopoly box because it is torn apart. I'm using tape to save it and to keep it all together. So sometimes instead of sweeping the floors with a broom, I do like to use my Dyson sometimes. At this very moment, my little one was taking a nap and the Dyson can be pretty loud, so I didn't want to wake him up. So I just went ahead and used the good old fashioned broom. You're a rebel, getting into trouble. You are kind of like a fire, like a fire, like a fire. Unpredictable, so original. You are
Okay guys, so with having three boys, this sectional hands down has been the best purchase ever. If it was cloth and if it was a light color sectional, it would look so filthy because the amount of times the milk gets spilled on it, like I'm so happy that it is leather because I can just easily wipe it off. I love watching house tours and a lot of the house tours I've watched, majority of them have like white couches and sometimes I'm like, how do they keep it so white? Especially if they have little kids, toddlers at that. It's like, I wanna know your secret because at some point I wanna put my personal style into the home and actually put furniture and pieces that I love. And these pieces are just basically kid friendly. You don't care what people say, people say, people say. I'm going crazy for your baby. Don't know how you're making me feel this way, but can I say? That's what I like about you. We still haven't got the blinds fixed yet. It is missing a piece which hasn't been ordered yet. We tried looking for it but could not find the exact one that we need. Once he finds the correct piece, he's gonna go ahead and fix the blinds and it's gonna look so much better. Of course, with kids, they're gonna continue messing with it but at least we'll have the piece that we need to go ahead and fix it so that way it doesn't look like this anymore. Shooting me with words, but I won't let them bruise Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright Like a ricochet, it will come back to While I was in the middle of cleaning, I was working on a video for super speed cleaning which is my other channel that i have all videos are under 10 minutes long guys if you don't have time to watch a longer video but still want that same exact motivation go ahead and subscribe to my super speed cleaning channel and thank you so much in advance for subscribing So while I occupy the kids with something to watch, I'm just cleaning the countertop and also loading the dishwasher. And of course, before I go ahead and load the dishwasher, I'm just wiping down any food particles that's on the dishes. Of course, this part is optional. However, I'm just so used to doing it this way and it just makes me feel better when I do it this way. 
I do notice a huge difference in that the dishes come out so much cleaner. When we first got the dishwasher, I did do a little experiment and just throw everything in the dishwasher, throw everything in the dishwasher without even wiping anything. And I have noticed that some of the dishes did have a little bit of food particles on it, which I didn't like. It just makes me feel like I'm not doing anything wrong as far as wiping it down because when I do that, I don't notice anything left on it. I mean, the thing, everything comes out squeaky clean. So here I am just trying to fit everything in the dishwasher. Bye. 
The funny thing is that my little one, yes, the baby, is able to pull these books down all on his own. I didn't believe it until I actually physically saw it myself. Now my older two kids used to do the same thing and I would have like books everywhere. And if you've been watching my channel for a while then you have seen me clean this area a thousand times. They got it out of their system. And now the baby, yes guys, the baby is now doing the same thing. So the moment I actually saw it myself, which it was mentioned to me and I was like, nah, the little baby's not doing it, stop it, stop lying. And then when I saw it, I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> so yes, the moment I saw it, that was a day. I just knew I'll be back just cleaning and putting the books back in their proper places, which is fine, cause he's, you know, he's a little baby, he's having fun. And he too would grow out of that. He's a kid, kids are gonna be kids. It is a pile of clean clothes that is on the bed. I did a ton of laundry off camera as well. That is because I'm just trying to get this laundry done as quick as possible and didn't feel like filming every single load. This area wasn't that bad, so it didn't need much sweeping. But since I gave my little one Cheerios early this morning to munch on, he ended up getting Cheerios everywhere on the floor. So I thought I might as well just go ahead and just give this area a good sweep. just made me feel so horrible for even cleaning the house because I felt like why are you cleaning you need to go ahead and stop what you're doing and be next to him because clearly all he needs is that comforting from mommy right and I felt super super guilty by cleaning the house I'm like the house it doesn't matter like this is secondary the only reason why I continued was because I knew that we were going to be gone for a whole week and since I was already in the middle of it anyway so I thought okay let me just go ahead and finish this and knock this out as quick as possible so I can go ahead and get to him nothing is wrong with the super clean house but I just feel like me personally I'm not that's not my main focus these kids are because I can definitely have a clean house that would consist of me following them around but honestly I don't really have time to do all that and it is extremely time-consuming As you heard, he was still fussing, so I had to take a break.
So I normally have after shots for everything, which I don't have after shots for the kitchen. I was pressed for time and because he was calm, I was just taking advantage of him being calm and moving on to the next task. It is real life guys. And I was just basically moving as fast as I can and getting things done. Everything is nice and clean. As you heard his little voice in the background, he is doing so much better. I did take the time out to soothe him. So now I can just continue cleaning knowing that he is doing so much better. So I'm just continuing to unload the dishwasher. That is because I do not want the dishes to sit in the sink for the entire time while we're gone. It doesn't take much to unload it and put everything back. So that is what I'm doing. So now that the dishwashers are unloaded and placed back in their proper places, I am moving on to the kids' room. Once I'm done sorting the cars and their learning materials, I'll be putting them back because before I did sort them but then put it back in their proper places. I just set them on the shelf, which when they're grabbing their books, it can easily fall off and that's exactly what happened. So to prevent that, I'm gonna put it back where they belong. of these cards I got from the dollar store if not all of them I'm not sure but I did get a few of them from the dollar store which is very inexpensive for learning materials for kids and if they happen to get ruined then it was just a dollar not that you want it to get ruined but it'll make you feel better knowing that it was just a dollar and you can easily replace it but yeah the dollar store have some great learning materials for kids and i get some of them from the dollar store if i can't find them anywhere else or if i happen to be at the dollar store i just like to walk by the learning materials and get a few things and they are definitely great for learning materials for toddlers I miss you, miss you. Take you off. I came me way to strong. Cannot keep it low key. Got me drugged. Your pheromones hit the roof. Auto, your taste. It's really a bad reception out there. Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you. Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're 
of my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun, but now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough, I've lost you But I need you, and you're off my radar now I've lost you I need you, but you're off my radar now I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling your in closer to me? Yeah, I lost you So I started decluttering the kids' clothes a little by little, and the elephant laundry basket has a ton of my baby's clothes in it, stuff that are beginning to get too small for him, and there's a lot more I have to do because his shoes now are way too small. Oh my gosh, he is getting so much bigger. So I definitely have to go ahead and declutter his clothes, declutter everything, and I'm also planning on decluttering my two-year-old clothes too because I've noticed that some of them are getting too small. For him. So yeah, my boys are getting bigger. Like where did the time go? These little kids are growing so fast. Focus right Every glimpse of you deserts me You're all I think about sometimes But baby I saw you for a second And I'm happy that you came my way Don't wanna waste no time without you ever so the original plan was to mop the floor without removing the toys and I just thought why not just why not move the toys to the living room and the hallway so, so that way I can mop that area as well and not just part of it. Everything reminds me of you, I can't take no more. 
Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you. I can't take no more. I miss your touch from your hands and your body. It hurts so much to think of you with someone else. Can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me. Now I'm talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me. I'm gonna do everything for you. I don't want anyone but you. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. Can we stop the clock and rewind? Go back to that moment in time. When you say you want me for life, was it all a lie? I thank you so much guys for taking the time out to watch my video I appreciate it so 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 very much and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing I would love to have you until next time I will see all of you guys in the next video bye